federal workers have repaired air traffic control systems there, though there are still only a few commercial flights a day. And they've supplied diesel generators to hospitals. But Don, Dr. Don LaPook, who's also in San Juan, tells us providing medical care is a challenge. We met 36-year-old Marcelina Lopez as she arrived at the hospital today for a checkup. She's six months pregnant and, after four miscarriages, worried about her own health and the health of her baby. <sighs> Every cramp is cause for concern. What was causing the pain you just had? She says there was no water or power in her house and she became dehydrated. She fell during Hurricane Maria and, with many roads blocked, it took her two days to reach the hospital. Here at Centro Medico, the island's largest hospital, ambulances arrive but not everyone gets to go inside. Triage tents have been set up on a driveway because of spotty power and air conditioning. How long have you been here? I've been here for 20 years. Have you ever seen anything this bad? No, nothing this bad ever. Dr. Cherie Umpierre is the head of obstetrics and gynecology. There have been multiple home births, people that would not ever in any modern day give birth at home. People that have previous C-sections, previous with multiple medical conditions. Who's delivering them? Um, we don't know. Dr. Umpierre is trying to cope with limited operating rooms, spotty lab support, and dwindling supplies. One bleary-eyed resident had just finished a 30-hour shift. But we were used to work. I can see the volume of people increasing every day and people that are not from our clinics, people that are just saying, you know, I can't find my doctor, will you take care of me? Doctors here told me the cavalry has been way too slow to arrive, and they're worried that's not the half of it, with people stuck at home, cut off from communication, and unable to even ask for help. Anthony? Dr. John LaPook in Puerto Rico. Thank you, John.